Thus Satan talking to his nearest mate, with head up lift above the wave, and eyes that sparkling blazed, his other parts besides prone on the flood, extended long and large lay floating many a rood, in bulk as huge as whom the fables name of monstrous size, Titanian or earth-born, that ward on Jove, Briareus or Typhon, whom the den by ancient Tarsus held, or that sea beast Leviathan, which God of all his works created hugest that swimmed ocean stream. Him hopely slumbering on the Norway foam, the pilot of some small night foundered skiff, deeming some island oft as seamen tell, with fixed anchor in his scaly rind, moors by his side under the lee, while night invests the sea and wished morn delays, so stretched out huge in length the ark fiend lay, chained on the burning lake, nor ever thence had risen or heaved his head, but that the will and high permission of all ruling heaven left him at large to his own dark designs, that with reiterated crimes he might heap on himself damnation, while he sought evil to others, and enraged might see how all his malice served but to bring forth infinite goodness, grace and mercy shown on man by him seduced, but on himself treble confusion, wrath and vengeance poured. Forthwith a pride he rears from off the pool, his mighty stature on each hand and the flames, driving backwards slope their pointing spires, and rolled in billows, leave it midst a horrid wail. Then with expanded wings he stares his flight, aloft incumbent on the dusky air that felt unusual weight, till on dry land he lights, if it were land that ever burned with solid as the lake with liquid fire. And such appeared in hue as when the force of subterranean wind transports a hill torn from Pelorus or the shattered side of thundering Etna, whose combustible and fuel enthralls thence conceiving fire sublimed with mineral fury. Aid the winds and leave a signed bottom all involved with stench and smoke. Such resting found the soul of unblessed feet. Him followed his next mate, both glorying to have scapped the Stygian flood as gods and by their own recovered strength, not by the sufferance of supernal power. Is this the region? This the soil? The clime? said then the lost archangel. This the seat that we must change for heaven? This mournful gloom for that celestial light? Be it so, since he, who now is sovereign, can dispose and bid, what shall be right, farthest from him is best, whom reason hath equalled, force hath made supreme above his equals. Farewell, happy fields, where joy forever dwells. Hail, horrors, hail, infernal world. And thou, profoundest hell, receive thy new professor, one who brings a mind not to be changed by place or time. The mind is its own place and in itself can make a heaven of hell a hell of heaven.